Well, thousands of lightning strikes hit our metro yesterday, followed by another lightning show today. They're all part of the regular pattern of storms we see practically every afternoon this time of year in Florida. And those dangerous bolts seem to come out of nowhere, as was the experience of one man. So new tonight, our Shelby Danza takes a deeper look at lightning and shares one man's story of pretty incredible survival. Well, Florida leads the nation in lightning strikes. As we know, since 2007, more than 50 people have lost their lives to a lightning strike just in our state. Fortunately for one local man, his friend acted swiftly enough to save his. It was so such a uh, crazy experience. I was like, it was a beautiful day like today. And then all of a sudden, boom. 17 years ago, avid fisherman John Zillahi's heart stopped beating when a bolt of lightning made a direct hit. We were out fishing off the pond we drew about a mile offshore. One of those afternoon storms came up and had my name on it. It was a summer day in 1990. He recalls there was just one cloud in the sky. It hit my fishing pole and went through me, knocked me out of, off my, out of my shoe, <coughs> excuse me, out of my shoes and uh, killed me. I had to learn how to walk, talk, all that stuff over again. Blasted out of his shoes and into the water. He says his fishing mate, Robert Hoden, saved his life. Give me resuscitation, and then he pulled it straight up onto the Palm Beach Club. His story serves as a reminder to all of us to be cautious with Mother Nature. If you have a direct impact uh, to lightning, very few people survive that. Randy Wise, president of Jacksonville Firefighters Association, says knowing CPR is vital. It doesn't take a direct hit to send a serious shock. A call center in uh, a large bank area, and there were several people on the phone, and they actually uh, felt some sort of shock through the phone. But you know, a small shock, depending on uh, the right circumstances can cause some cardiac issues. So uh, you always got to be careful when anybody has received any sort of electrical uh, shock. Zilla, he is still recovering today. I fished with it this morning. I didn't catch anything, though. He hasn't given up his hobby. So you can't live in fear. This, it happened once. I don't think it'll happen again. Hopefully. <laughs> amazing story and going back to what Randy Wise says he's with the Jacksonville firefighters he mentioned a call center that recently felt a bunch of shocks through the phones now he says a phone can take in a shock from a lightning strike but it has to be on a hard line a cell phone that you carry with you can't uh, take in a lightning strike and shock you but you can get shocked walking along the ground if another area does get a lightning strike another misconception really quick is when you hear a, or when you see a lightning strike strike and you count the seconds to when you hear the thunder and uh, you say that's how many miles away the lightning is. Well, the firefighters tell us that you actually have to count four or five seconds and that equals a mile. So if it's about eight seconds between the lightning and the thunder, it's about two miles away. Live downtown Shelby Danielson, First Coast News. Mm.